one of the guys who've been uh, part of the foundation of Julianis Music, eh? You may just say, atatombia zaidi. Emmanuel Jal is in the building right now. Itakuaje? Sema. Eh? Najokusema hiyo saizi? Sendio. Karibu nyumbani. Luka suwezi salvos. Karibu, karibu nyumbani. Karibu Sa nyumbani. Asante, asante. Yeah. Yeah. Ji introduce wale watu wenye kujui, ji introduce uh, kwa hile kamera. Wambiwe yeah. ni nani, unafanya nini. Mina itua Emmanuel Jal. So, I speak in English, it's Wailio. Yoyote tu. Yeah, so my name is Emmanuel Jal. So, and I'm a recording artist. So, I started doing my music here in Kenya. And so, I'm South Sudanese. So, I was a refugee here. And then I... Uh, Everything that you see that I'm doing around the world was influenced here. My style, most of my music is recorded here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, part of your journey, you met with Giuliani. Yeah. Tell us about that before to get a circle story. Well, Giuliani was introduced to me by DJ Moss. I don't know if you know DJ yeah, Moss. He's, yeah, the, yeah. he's the DJ that gave me a breakthrough in Kenya yeah. by playing one of my songs. And yeah. then from there, uh, during that time, that song was called Goa. Okay. And then it started picking. And then when I met DJ Moss when I was in England, so when my music picked up for me to tour globally, so DJ Moss introduced me to, to Giuliani. I asked him, what artist uh, do you really like right now? And told me there's an artist called Giuliani. Yeah. So from there, and then we started discussing, this guy is amazing, he has not recorded an album, what do we do? Yeah. And so we planned a trip to come here and we brought a team together, Giuliani recorded his album, and then for a year we promoted him and that, that's how Giuliani yeah. went up. You actually signed him? We it, signed him to our record, you yeah. know, for a record label. I normally have this, what is called God's money. Yeah. So anytime I make money, I wake up this person on the side. Yeah. And then you identify who inspired you at that moment mm -hmm. or what you feel in your heart. And then you just put the whole box to that person. Yeah. Then you push it. And try to push the brand. Yeah, because I feel like wealth is built as a collective. And so, and I like his music at that time. And yeah. so that's what happened, yeah. yeah. Uh, from your from your music, can you describe your music as hip hop as a genre? So I, the the music I do is I go with how I feel. For yeah. example, if I like a sound or of a beat, then what I normally rap because it's easy. You just put words together and go with the beat. Yeah. So like now we did the Afro, and the next thing I was in hip hop reggae. Yeah. So if you listen at my music, there's different styles in it. Yeah. So like it's like you're listening to a compilation album yeah. sometime if you get my album. Yeah. Actually, from the from the two songs that you've played, yeah. Yeah. Talk to me and Hey Mama. Yes. Talk to me is very different from Hey Mama. And if you play Kush, there's yeah. one called Kush, yeah. a video, and then you'll see it's it's different. Yeah. And I've I've also listened to Goa. Goa. Is it Goa? Is, yeah. that, is that the right uh, Yeah, Goa, yes, Goa. Yeah, Goa. Yeah. I, 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 li I really like that song. Uh, tell us more about Talk To Me. Talking to me is mostly basically uh, when things became a challenge for me. Like you're in a place like nothing seemed to work. Yeah. And so and then I wrote a song for myself. I'm talking to me. Yeah. Talking to me. Yeah. Then the line, you get respect if you die for what you believe in. No. Fear no death because his ancestors united. Yeah. You see? Never stop giving it's part of this life you're living. Nobody's clean. You made it this far well sinning. Yeah. So basically, it's giving reference to every step that I made. And so when I recite that line, it just wakes me up. Yeah. You're actually trying to pat yourself at the back, yeah? It's not patting yourself. You know, yeah. sometimes the things that destroy us the most is what we tell ourselves. Mm. So what are you telling yourself? Yeah when your world is crushing. Yeah. So if you say, uh, I'm done, Misha, life is gone, that's it. In Asia. But like, but when you speak something else and then you get energy to stand up. Yeah. No. We, we should never, we should never, um, like allow negativity to come into our minds. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. is positivity, all through, any day, any time. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about Hey Mama. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. Hey Mama, basically it's a song we did with a guy called Chek B in South yeah. Sudan. Yeah. The idea of the song is how can we write songs that can be futuristic? So when it's played, we're programming people. Because when you're in survival state or when you're traumatized, your mind is tuned on into the negative things. Mm -hmm. And so and that's how we say, okay, let's make this song just to celebrate our people. You know, there's something amazing about South Sudan, which means if you're in trouble, and, and you reach to any South Sudanese, yeah. as long as you're South Sudanese. If they have one egg, they'll give it to you. Yeah. And that's what I love about our people, if we could start from there and building outward. 
You know, I mean, that kind of way is different. Yeah. You know, most of you see South Sudanese moving out, but yeah. if you enter their house, you may find 10 people, 15 people staying in the house, but they're not relatives. Yeah. It's like somebody come and they have no place to stay, and then you stay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was actually uh, watching Bonface Mwangi's Insta stories yeah. when I was in South Sudan, I think a month ago. Yeah. Yeah. You were actually in the, you were, you were part of the guys who invited him. Yeah. yeah. Tell us more about South Sudanese, uh, the culture, uh, and also in the culture, uh, you, can, you can fit in the story about uh, the war child, yes. the, the, the movie. Tell us more about the movie first before you tell us so about the So there's a War Child, the movie, which is my story in a yeah. documentary poem format. Yeah. I also have a book out called War Child. Yeah. I have an album called War Child. Okay. But recently I acted in a movie called The Good Lie with Reese Witherspoon, which I think is one of the films that has really was done in Hollywood that gave me the uh, uh, international platform in terms of acting. Yeah. Yeah, so Boniface Mangi, we invited him to come and do a workshop to a bunch of young people. You know, the, the biggest challenge we have right now in South Sudan is every young person want to be the head. Mm. You want to be the president of a company? Yeah. Want to be the manager? Nobody want to go from the bottom. They don't know, like, leadership start from ground. You know, and uh, even me for myself, uh, when I go, I set up a company. And you find different people giving a phone call, oh, if you own your business to work, you have to hire this person from this tribe. Don't hire any dink or any They will not do that job. So like you can really like, why is it? How are we going to go forward if we don't have people to start humbly from the ground? From, from, let, let me take you back a little bit. Uh, from the movie Watcher, is that part of, the, uh, part of your foundation in activism? So the thing is, uh, what guided me as a young kid, as a kid, is my purpose. Yeah wanting to be a part of a solution, mm -hmm. you know? And that's how I wake up every day. How can I be a part of a solution? So everything that I do, if I strive to move forward, in the end of it, it's what I get from it, I share. And when you share, that's you walking in your purpose. You, yeah. When you give anything without expecting anything in return, you're walking in your purpose. Yeah. And what I know is when you walk in that way, in the end, what I know is, there's an old, uh, there was an old woman I was talking to and her husband died and in, in her death, in her husband's deathbed, yeah, her husband asked her, honey, what good did I, did, did I do? And then he could only remember the good he did because he became a millionaire with a lot of money. Yeah. The only good he did was when they were in orphanage, when they used to raise funds. But after they made so much money, that was just for themselves and yeah. having a life. And she told her... Uh, the wife that what I know from now is what you can carry beyond the gra grave is what you give. Everything that I did does not matter. Right now, is, as he's resting, he's asking his wife, do what you can by just giving as much as is possible. Yeah. Because when you're going on your deathbed, your purpose will hold you accountable. True. That's true. Moving forward, you have an, uh, an EP. You, you, want, you want to release an EP next week, Friday? Yeah. Tell us more about it. So next week, Friday, we're going to release a song called Rockaboom. Yeah. You know, it's, it's the same album which I am are coming from and the same album with Talking To Me. And so it's where culture, music, fashion, and entertainment just come together. So it's, the coolest thing is you have South Sudanese now in the global platform in the fashion and the modeling industry. But there's something amazing about Lamo. Yeah. On the back of my mind, the people of Lamu has got the same culture uh, as also almost like people of South Sudan, but mostly leaning toward the north. Yeah. And so we say, like, can we bring these two, uh, uh, two different cultures together in sound and the looks yeah. and bringing the South Sudanese models, mixing it with Lamu. Yeah. And that's, that's what it is. Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. Should we expect any Kenyan collabo, maybe Giuliani? Kenyans collab definitely, you know. Yeah. I always want to collab with Kenyans always. Yeah. Giuliani is, you know, with music, it's all happened like how you, how you guys feel, you know. Like this one time we did uh, music with, uh, with Giuliani and yeah. also with some Tanzanian artists like Vanessa. Yeah, I saw that you, you you guys were talking about, uh, I think the elephants. Yeah. Is it true? Yeah. Uh, Vanessa Mdi was there too. Yeah. How was that collaboration? That collaboration was amazing. So I learned a lot from from their flow and how, how Vanessa does her thing and her writing skills. And Julianne, it was, 
there was another Congolese artist, mixed Congolese and West African. Yeah. Young lady was on it as well. Yeah. So right now, we want to listen to your song uh, again, Hey Mama, especially Hey Mama. Yeah. I, I've loved the song. You were talking about the country, yeah? South yeah. Sudan. Yeah. And, and your love for the country. Let's listen to the song one more time. Kabla to Rudy Tana, uh, you'll be telling us uh, where to find you and where to find the EP too. Yeah, from now. Let's listen to the music one more time.